David Faustino. Hello, this is Andrew Chalmers, the writer and doctor in Doctor Who, Dark Journey. This is Dr. Steve-o. Uh, everybody, this is the Cavernator. This is Inspector Gadget. Hey, what's cracking, y'all? It's your boy, J-Rock. Good evening, folks. This is James DeVal. This is Jeremy Taggart. This is Kim Possible. I'm Chris Holden Lee. Hey, this is Pat Mastriani from Degrassi. <laughs> this is the evil Dr. Bad Vibes. Again, this is Missy Bear. And this is more from X-Men. Hey, this is Andrew Gazess. This is Sean Gunn. Hi, this is Robert Carradine. It's Tammy Stronach from The NeverEnding Story. Hey, it's Zach Callison. Hey, I'm DJ Jenny Rob. And I'm Neil Young. I'm Commander Shepard. Ralph Garman here. You're listening to Droids Canada. You've made an excellent choice. You have chosen wisely. Warning. Listener discretion is advised. Hello. <laughs> because we know how much you love music. The metal variety. I, I am a fan of music. I do like music. Are you though? Yes. I am a fan of music. Okay. But I like good music. This is not good music. What's that? Oh, God. Don't you remember when that was a big thing? We were making a monkey noise? Yeah. No, just because the... the <gasps> ooh, ooh, wah, ah, ah, ah. Now, that is disturbed, is it not? That would be correct. That is disturbed. See, I'm, I know things. <laughs> so, for a while, I always got disturbed and Linkin Park... Um, Stinking part. Um, I got them mixed up a little bit. Okay. Because they're both around the same time. I'm but then I realized that, yeah, no, it's different because wa a a a is different than the Transformers band. Because <laughs> song for the song. every single song is a song made for Transformers That's movies. Not true. Even without Transformers movies, they're coming back though. That is the reason why Link in Park is. Just around. Bennington's dead. What's that? He can't make the next Transformers song. He's dead. Have you s- heard of Tupac? <laughs> he has. He's dead. He's dead. Attacking Chester Bennington. He's dead. And you're attacking him like you attack the British. No, he's dead. Oh, fuck the Brits. Uh, he's dead, but he probably has an additional... Why don't you just go ahead and spit on Chris ten, while you're at Ten it. movies worth okay. of Transformers songs already recorded. Yeah. There's still... Probably Nirvana stuff that's unreleased. They're just waiting yeah. for the next Batman Two to come out. Um, so uh, what? The the Batman Two. It didn't, no. The Batman Two. That, they had Nirvana in it. In the first Batman? Oh yeah, something in the way. Something the in the way. That was one of the greatest songs. Uh, that are so unheard. Uh, garbage. <laughs> uh, How much money does he have? That movie. That song in that movie, literally, like, when the song came on, whoever was filming went, fuck this, and went to turn the volume down, but instead it was the brightness. <laughs> they turned the brightness down, so it's like, what the fuck's going on? Is that a tire? I don't Is know. Is that a tire? I don't know. Wow. Don't keep going. I like the ranting. No, keep going. No, no, this no, good. no. This good. So, Tell me so, how you truly feel. We'll put the no, just, chili peppers. Just with, Where we are the, just with the Chester Bennington... He that band exists for for Transformers no, movies. he did not. Hundred percent. You know, their first hit was one step closer. Type which was in, like, type in the Google's how many Link in Park songs are in Transformers movies, and it'll probably be like every fucking one, dude. Every fucking one. Google will say it through oh my God, through your monitor. Literally a search engine history for it. See, see. Do Link in Parks? They do. And every you divide. Yeah, that's their song. They just did New Divide. That's all they did. Yeah, they have more than that. Every one. Uh. Every one. Okay, what is Megatron's oh, favorite song? Oh, no, actually, song? You're, I think you're right. I think they have more. They do. Linkin Park Oh, my is God. There's three songs in there. I didn't know that. In one movie. In one, one movie. movie. No, they're different movies. Arrested Ear... I can't say that word. It was in Transformers. No, they were all in different movies. So what I've done was in the first Transformers. New Divide was in Revenge of the Fallen. Oh, all different movies. Yeah. It was even in Kung Fu Panda 2. You attacking Kung Fu Panda now? Uh, Kung Fu Panda? Uh, Can't believe this is a real topic that someone went, what is Megatron's favorite song? What is Megatron's favorite song? It's probably the My Kung Little Wh- Pony Friendship is Magic theme song. That's a strong song. It turns out Optimus Prime is not a male. Really? <laughs> okay. Oh, so this is getting into some kind of sketchy territory here. Oh wow! I didn't know if Optimus so, Prime had a girlfriend named Alita One. Yeah. Uh, what is Optimus Prime? If Optimus Prime, no, 
You know what? I agree. Optimus Prime is not a male. He's a fucking truck. Or it's a truck. That's a deep... Ha, ha. Are Transformers asexual? Well... Although the, the Transformers are generally understood to reproduce asexually, cat, canon, a canon call sources have sometimes used geology, geological determination to describe certain relationships. But it said How that... It said that Optimus Is Prime. Scream a girl? It said that. Hold op- on, it's a real question. Not in the way we would think. Can a trans- oh, no, sorry. Can Transformers <laughs> get pregnant? Oh, fuck me. Not in fuck the way me. we do. After the creation of Primus, early Transformers could reproduce using a mitotosis like ability, forming energized liquid metal from within their body. Hold on. Metal cock. <laughs> <laughs> but once Primus dis- deemed the population was high enough, he wiped their ability from the memories. So he took away the ability. To remember so how fuck Optimus us. Prime brainwashed everyone into not having like kinky robot sex. Pretty much, because Optimus Prime is not a man. Oh God, these are some great. The fact that people actually ask these questions is making this better. This okay. This is totally this episode now. When <laughs> I was when, Star Scream. Hold when I was game. literally going to want to talk about how I'm terrified at the amount of the fucking Wednesday dances that are going to be going on at conventions this year. Ugh, okay, that is going to be Harley Quinn. Show, so that is going to be Harley Quinn. But screw that. I'm this is so balls. much better. Okay. So is Star Scream a girl? Is Star Scream a girl? Um. So, Starscream and Shrapnel were referred to as female. Every Transformers movie. cartoon growing up, it was all dudes Mm-mm. except for the one pink. RC. Yeah. Sure. That was no, it. there was another one that was kind of like RC, but no, it was a different one though. Because it was twins or whatever, I don't remember. Okay. Now, is Starscream a girl? Megatron referred to Starscream as a uh, woman, but that was only in the movie. Okay, so this that's that's the they're out. Oh my god, can Transformers get pregnant? I I read that already. Pregnant? I literally read you the definition. Not the way that we do. Oh god, no. no. Who is Optimus Prime? Optimus trans- Prime's brother is Ultra Magnus. Yes. Do Transformers spit? <laughs> <laughs> do Trans? Oh, okay, that one's got bad. Oh. No, no, no. Go to the second one. I will even read it. No, it's not. Oh, it no. It's not Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It, oh, my. Oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Hit the brakes. <laughs> well, I'm going to check and see if they... I'm going to write it, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, so, oh. oh this is good. <laughs> so, the question that we asked Google, do Transformers have periods? I don't now, know. That was pretty funny. Would it be oil? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get me an oil change. <laughs> Every three and a half weeks, like clockwork, then my oil starts leaking. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. So, so th- this is like radio silence right now. Oh, well, I don't think I want to click on that hyperlink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh. That is definitely. This is definitely more than meets the eye. <laughs> it didn't. It, things didn't work out the way I wanted them to. <laughs> but I mean, that's just kind of like life, right? But it doesn't work out the way you want it to. Yeah. Well, he, see, there. here's the thing, dude. You can't. Um, you can't uh, assume that you know a Transformer's gender, but Optimus Prime is not male. Is Optimus Prime female? Or is Optimus Prime something completely different than that? Because hmm. I just don't know. Maybe they don't know. Okay, stop on government cheese, please. <laughs> I'd like to know what that means. But I want to know about the egg-sucking dog. After government cheese. A big hard mass, a block of orange yellow processed USDA cheese food issued by the United States government, blah, blah, blah. That makes no sense to me. Okay, it's a big government cheese to but make But it's deadly sense. stinky gas or the runs and diarrhea. Okay. That's not that. I expected better. You know, we haven't been here in a long time. And it's been a while since we've been here. And I just expected so much more. Okay. Ooh. 
health buster. Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck? It hurts so good. Would you like me to read this to you? Because that's a lot to take in. Yes, please. I will have to omit one word. So it will be beeped out. After that, um, we can finish on the, in my opinion, what the greatest uh, urban dictionary term is. The Alaskan pipeline? No. The I don't know what that is. <laughs> glass bottom boat? No, I know the glass bottom boat. The Canadian geese? The Eskimo trebuchet. Okay, I don't know that one. Oh, perfect. You can read it out loud then. <laughs> So this one is called It Hurts So Good. Okay, I will... Let me read it. No, I don't think you want to read it. I'll totally read it. Just make sure... Yeah. When you feel pain that is so excruciating... Uh, excru I can't read. see from here. I'm. That's why I said I'll read it. Can we read it now? Excruciating that it turns you into a bloodlusting, apocalyptic, soul-reaping, thundercunt, death weapon, and you destroy the closest thing that you can get your inner ogre clutches on <laughs> until the moment you feel satisfaction or the agony uh, gets so intense you pass out. That is a lot. That is a lot. So use it in sense. Okay. A man was walking on water being Jesus. <laughs> a group of <laughs> whale hunters shoot a harpoon into his nutsack. What? The man then screams in pure terror and turned around with his butt facing the whale hunters and screamed it hurts so good. Then he began to twerk so fast, lightning came out of his butt cheeks and electrocuted the whale hunters until they burst into a giant cloud of incinerated dust particles. Never again will they shoot twerk god. That was a lot. That's. I have to stand by saying that was a lot. So, I appreciate the explanation. I do. I appreciate that. So, if we want to wrap this up, wrap it up with Eskimo trebuchet, please. All right, Eskimo trebuchet. Oh, yeah. Promise me you'll read it. Promise me you'll read it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I will read that. What's that? I will read that. Okay. <coughs> iTunes. This is... Hold on, I need to like... Uh, okay. Can I add some music to it? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can find something real quick. There we go. I'm, I'm, give me a second here. Oh, yeah. I'm buying you some time. Buy me some time. All right. Uh, next episode, maybe we're going to have to talk about the uh, Tennessee police officer. Oh, no. <laughs> you know about the Tennessee police officer. I know officer. about that one. Everyone knows about it. It's going to be dead news by then. So. All right. Hold on. Wait. Okay. Let's see if this works. And. Okay. That was a horrible transition, but that's all I've got. All right. So, Dan wants me to read from the Urban Dictionary. This is called... The Eskimo trebuchet. When you put your dick between your legs and a girl starts give, to give you head from behind, she has her nose, her nose, her nose in your asshole and throws up all over your dick after you fart on her. Then you turn around and open your legs and your dick swings forward like an Eskimo trebuchet and puke splatters <laughs> over her face. Boom. <laughs> hey, Billy, why does that girl have puke over her face? Ah, shit, son, I just gave her an Eskimo <laughs> trebuchet. What the fuck? That's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, God. It was a, a, a very lovely person, uh, a guest, who came into the restaurant who told me about that. All right. Well, that's it for this week, guys. We'll catch you next week. Boom. Hi, this is Hollis Grant, host of The Fact Is. You can find us Wednesdays on droidscanada.com, where we discuss current affairs from around the world. <laughs>